What is up, my dear friends? My name is Oscar, and I just hit my old record button because I'm trying to change it. But what is up, my dear friends? My name is Oscar, and welcome to Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. This is a demo because I wasn't gonna buy a game because this. Um, yeah. I wasn't gonna buy it. You know, I can't change like the sound settings for this game because my god, is it loud. There. That's as good as it's gonna get. And this is a demo because I didn't want to buy the game and um, play a game all the way through, and you guys were like, this was stupid. <laughs> So we're gonna play the demo and see how it goes, and if the demo goes well, then I will try. I will try the entire game, but if not, I'll just keep it stay with this. So we can play Lynn, Dina, <laughs> Steph, Yale, or Yael, or Bree. I think we're gonna go with. Oh, I can't play Steph. Never mind. I'm gonna go with Steph. I'll go free. Wait, a window opened up in the background. A random window has appeared. It's like Pokemon up in here. I didn't mean to right. There. Oh no. But yeah, let's go ahead and start with free. So you're saying is now. First of all, as much as you'd like to, the budget is just too tight at the moment to give anyone pay rise. There's just enough money to draw around. Sorry, Ben. You say that. And yet, we've got super expensive of top of the line equipment and all the labs and new machines are being delivered every other day. I just spent all his time building the most expensive looking machine I've ever seen in the main lab. We're letting it anyway. It's. Uh, for our research, that's what it is, Ben. That's what it is. But that's besides the point. A great employee, Ben, and we'd love to give you more money, but that decision isn't up to us. We had a meeting with our main investor last week, and he's really cracking down on us. Our expenditures, we were to do some good results, and we're not going to be shut down anytime soon. But they're going to cut costs wherever they can. Wait, what's that picture in the background right there? Hold on, you know. Sorry, Ben. But I'm afraid to set up salaries are completely out of the arc goal. Damn. It's not all bad. I think we're really on something for research, and if everything works out, we won't have any difficulty, difficulty convincing investors to give us a bigger budget. We like you, Ben. And we'll do our best to make sure you're paid a better salary. It just won't be this month. Oh, well. Thanks for seeing me anyway. Uh, that sucked. Guess there's always hope for next month. <clears throat> I'm Ben, and I'm a scientist at Abaddon Pharmaceuticals. Well, I guess you could say that. Oh, wait, I guess you could say I'm a scientist. I'm really lab assist. More than anything, all I do is clean test tubes and repair equipment all day. I don't think I've done any actual research since I got here. Just wash up duty and odd jobs run place. But that wasn't exactly the rewarding experience in the scientific world that my university degree promised all those years ago. Dungeon Knights? Like, that's a Dungeon Knight. Maybe that's Dungeon Defenders, I don't know. I don't actually work in the main laboratory. I work in a small room located a few meters away from the main laboratory. So, I don't partake in most of the main research. So, how'd it go? Not so hot. Oh, that sucks. Tell me about it. I don't person works in this little room. I'll just share it with the, the I'll just share it with Dan, the lab resident. The lab's resident computer tech guy. I hate when I mess up. He's pretty much a nice guy and we talk to each other about a fair bit while we work on the Oh my god. Okay, this is what happens. When I read I just go like my brain just thinks of what's next. So when I said while we work on, I just thought, duh, and that's what happened. So that's my fault, guys. I apologize. He's a really nice guy, and we talk to each other a, a fair bit while we work on our respective tests. But we don't hang out much that much outside of work at all. So for that one time where we had consensual sex, but that's besides the point. 
Jane, I hope I didn't piss him off too. Too much by demanding a pay rise. Barry isn't really the sort of person to get angry over something like that. He's pretty laid back, and Liam's really nice too. I doubt either of them will worry. That's one of the advantages of having younger bosses. It looks like he'd be a jerk. I know from I know from experience, trust me. I don't know. Maybe his work unpaid overtime strikes me as pretty jerk mo it's a pretty jerk move if you ask me. That was only once though. It still sucks. After complaining about work with Dan for a few minutes, I settled into my regular schedule. Washing up wasn't a very fun job, but I guess somebody had to do it. I wash the biggest and test tubes thoroughly, making sure to remove any impurities or con contaminants that might have been left over the day's experiment. Mints. I really wanted that pay rise. Can I have place for lunch, Ben? Huh? Is it lunchtime already? No, I was just getting hungry. I almost finished cleaning up. We can always sneak it early. So you got early for lunch. I don't know. Don't worry. Liam's in his office and Darius is probably working on that stupid machine thing of his. The main lab. They won't even notice we've gone. What is that machine anyway? We, he never lets us look at it. I got no idea. It's probably something stupid. Have you noticed that a lot of stuff in the lab makes no sense? We're really researching skin diseases and foot cranes and such. But running all these simulations that have nothing to do with that sort of some of the effect of viruses on human genome? That was weird. And I was looking into the budget and the place is spending money on the roof. What's this? 